Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Property Management 101, and today we'll be discussing the three best practices when you're facing being short-staffed. If you find this video helpful and learn something new, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. This video will be helpful for anyone on the conventional side of multifamily, student housing, or the single family side of the industry that has an influence on hiring. Once a staff is short staffed, it is very hard to stay ahead and work at the same pace and deal with the same volume as you did before when you were fully staffed. So in this video, we'll be focused on more proactive ways to handle being short staffed rather than reactive. All staffs will tend to go through a transition with staff coming and going and eventually be short staffed at a period or another. These are the three best practices to consider when you're preparing to be short staffed. Number one, recruit early. Don't wait till you're short staffed or when a staff member gives notice that they're leaving to start recruiting. One of the ways you can proactively recruit early is to take tours of other properties in the market. You'll be able to tell how the maintenance team manage that turn. You'll be able to tell how the leasing staff follows up. You'll be able to see how the site is generally managed. You'll also really see from the manager and the system manager and the maintenance supervisor what that standard and how well that standard is consistently followed by the staff. Another tip to consider when you're recruiting early is a great way to find um, possible candidates for future positions at your site is to really start looking at online professional sites with that for individuals that work in your market already. And this is a great platform to really see what they've done, how they deliver and showcase their accomplishments. And this is another effective way that I've found personally that have worked really well to recruit early. Number two best practice to consider when you're short staffed is processes. Make sure that all of your processes already in place are consistently followed by your staff as well as their documents somewhere electronically or on paper. This will be extremely helpful during the time that you start training your new staff that you're going to eventually hire and then they'll also have something to refer to when they have questions that come up. For additional training practices, please refer to my training new hires video and I'll also post the link for that video in the video description. Typically, once a staff becomes fully staffed again, there's usually a little catch up that is needed that was a result of being short staffed. And having these processes in place will allow the entire staff to catch up as quickly as possible. Third best practice to keep in mind is work ahead as much as possible. It's so easy when you are fully staffed to, to push off things for later. Anything that can be done by the staff to work ahead will be very important. So once you become short staffed, your, your position and your sites and your team will be in that much stronger of a position. Here are some things you can do to work ahead and make sure that your staff is prepared as possible when you're facing being short staffed. Number one, turning units quickly. This will be super helpful once your staff become short staff that you have that many more units ready as quickly as possible. Don't wait till you have a prospect that may be interested in the unit to start preparing that unit to turn. Another thing to keep in mind is leasing units as quickly as possible. I know it's very easy once your staff hits that occupancy goal if you're at a multifamily site um, to, to kind of take your foot off the gas. It is really important to lease those units as much as possible and get ahead of with your trend in leasing numbers as ahead as much as possible so your staff is in that much of a stronger position once you become short staffed. I also would you know, always recommend that you're submitting all notices as quickly as possible, all renewals, all applications are, are submitted and processed as quickly as possible. Submit any type of accounts to collections and file any evictions as quickly as possible. I know some staffs tend to wait maybe until they have three or four to send to collections or file for eviction at a time. I would strongly recommend if it's within your company's practices um, to file at, you know, each time you have an eviction or each time you have a collection and not wait for things like that. Please feel free to comment if you have any questions below about anything that was covered in this video. And if you found anything that we discussed in this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Happy leasing.